Hi guys, welcome to Top Tips Videos. Today our topic is how to create t-shirt patterns in Adobe Illustrator. So open the Illustrator software and let's look the t-shirt sizes. So open this file. So here you can see the length and the width of the each sizes like small, medium, large, extra large, etc. Here I am referring the Asian sizes. Sizes may vary according to the different areas like UK sizes, US sizes like that. So here you can see the each chest length and the body length of each sizes. For example, when we are taking the medium sizes, chest width is coming 21 inch and the body length is coming 28.5 inches. So now let's make the pattern for a medium sizes t-shirt. For that, just to copy this mockup of medium sizes for the reference and close the file. Now let's open our working artboard. So go to the file and open a new page. And the sizes should be 2000 mm length and the width 2000 mm. Now paste here the medium size pattern mockup that we copied from the sizes file for reference. Here you look, for the medium sizes the chest or the width of the t-shirt is 21 The inches. body length is 28.5 inch for the final product t-shirt. So when we are making the t-shirt pattern we have to extend a little bit of the length and the height of the t-shirt pattern than the mockup. Because from the wall the side a little bit space will be go for the stitching area. So the pattern width should be half inch more and the height should be 1.5 inch more than the mockup. So according to that let's make a rectangle box with 21.5 inch width and 30 inches height. I am using the shortcut key letter M for making the rectangle. So you will get option for giving the width and the length of the rectangle. Once you make the rectangle the next step we have to make is the neck cutting for the t-shirt pattern. Neck holes varies for the round neck t-shirt and polo collar neck t-shirt. We are creating polo neck t-shirts, so it will be little bit smaller than the round neck t-shirt's neck. But keep in mind that the neck holes will be the same size for all the sizes. That means whatever we are using for the small sizes, same it will be used for the even the XL sizes also. So for making the neck, take the ellipse tool by clicking the short key letter L and make an ellipse with the width 6.2 inch and height 6.75 inches. Once you made the ellipse, you have to cut the ellipse into half. Here I am making half by deleting the top anchor point of the ellipse by direct selection tool. You can see here. Now keep the half of the ellipse together with the rectangle that we made and give the horizontal central align and vertical align as shown here. Then merge the both object with the pathfinder using the minus front option, like this. So for the easy editing, here I am making the object with the stroke only. So make fill color null and the keep the stroke image in gray or black color. Now make the wall object vertically into half. So we should get a symmetric half part. Now on the bottom of the object, give you an extra anchor point by using the guide line over the center of the object. Now select the half part of the object using the direct selection tool and just delete. So here we got the symmetric half of the object. Then make the object to fill color by short key shift X. Then we have to give an anchor point on the right side of the body 11 inch away from the top of the body. So for making the anchor point, make a rectangle with the height 11 inch and keep the rectangle at the top of the body and give the guidelines. Now add the anchor point at the intersection point by using pen tool as shown here. Then select the right top anchor point by the direct selection tool and have to move the anchor point 1.5 inch downwards and 1.5 inch leftwards. For that, the easiest way is to get the preferences of the illustrator. So just press the key Ctrl K button. 
So here you will get the preferences come in both. Now the measurement unit is in millimeter. So change to inches by selecting this unit menu. Now select the inches instead of millimeter. Now again take the preferences by pressing the control key. Change the keyboard increment to 1.5 inches. So each arrow key pressing will move up to 1.5 inches. Then select the right top anchor point by direct selection tool. Press down arrow button once and left arrow button one time. Now here you will get the sleeve opening portion. Now we have to make a curve over the sleeve portion. Now we have to give a guideline of 2.8 inch. For making that, make a rectangle of 2.8 inch width by rectangle 2. And keep it over this guideline. And over this edge, give you vertical guidelines. Then just delete the rectangle. Now select the anchor point tool from the menu or by pressing the shift C. And click and drag from the sleeve portion to the downwards this anchor point reaching to the guidelines intersecting point like this. Now half of the front t-shirt pattern is finished. Copy the half part and paste over the same position by the short key Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus F. Now reflect the copied part by right clicking the mouse and go to the transform and reflect. Then join the both half part like this and merge to get a single object. Now the front part of the t-shirt pattern is completed. Now we have to create the back part of the t-shirt pattern. For that, just to copy the front part and drag to one side. Now from this part, select the neck bottom anchor point by the direct selection tool and drag upwards until to get the approximate one centimeter from the top of the body like this as shown here. Now adjust all the anchor point to get a perfect curve over the back of the neck so we can adjust all the anchor point and the sub anchor point like this. Now the body part of the t-shirt pattern is completed. Now let's make the pattern for the sleeves. For that make a rectangle with rectangle tool with the width of 19 inch and height of 11 inch. Or make 1 inch bots and give guidelines of 1 inch from the bottom of the sleeve pattern. Then delete the bots. Give the anchor point to the both side of the sleeves in the guidelines mark. Mark the center middle of the sleeve by guideline. After that, make a rectangle of 4.5 inch height and make guideline 4.5 inch from the top of the sleeve. Then add anchor points to the both side of the sleeve in that guideline by the pen tools. Give guidelines on the top of the sleeve like this. After that, just delete the two topmost anchor points of the sleeve bots. So it will become smaller rectangle, then join the top free anchor point. It's just by selecting both anchor points and click mouse right button and make the join. Select the anchor point tool and make a curve over the top of the sleeve like this. Click and drag using the anchor point tool move up the curve up to the guidelines top of the guidelines open the illustrator preferences by clicking the ctrl k button and change the keyboard increments up to 1.5 inch then select the bottom left side to anchor point and move towards right by one moment also select the right side to anchor point and move towards left by just clicking the arrow button towards left to once then change the keyboard increment up to 0.5 inches. Then move once inner from the both side of the anchor point as shown here. Copy the sleeve from the first copy. Here we got the complete t-shirt pattern of the size medium. Now from this t-shirt medium sizes pattern you can arrange all other sizes very easily.
now we can create the other sizes like small large excel from this for the further tutorial for making other sizes t-shirt pattern from the medium sizes in simplest way just subscribe our channel and wait for upcoming videos thank you